Kia ora, welcome back, I'm the Kiwi Coder and in this video I'm going to show you how to animate uh, rig constraints to create these uh, weapon animations here. Uh, so I have a character that can holster, holster its pistol and if I walk over the assault rifle uh, then there is also a, a separate animation for animating the assault rifle. Cool, uh, let's get started. Okay, so this video follows on from a previous video I've made, the weapon pickups, equipping weapons at runtime. Uh, so in the scene here I've got a character that's holding a pistol and uh, the position of the pivot node, the left and the right node, they're currently being keyed in with a single uh, single keyframe on this weapon animation pistol clip and what I'd like to do is basically create an animation where the character holsters the weapon onto their leg um, but the problem I'm having at the moment is if I hit record the character just starts like sliding around and doing weird stuff and um, the reason for that, uh, from what I what I found, is uh, the character setup that I'm using um, in this main character's FBX file. The animation type is set to humanoid. Uh, also, the same on the locomotion animations; they're all uh, humanoid, humanoid animations, um, which Unity does not allow you to uh, keyframe humanoid characters, which is yeah a bit of a bummer. So, if you're using um, like let me just go show you that drop down again. If you're using um, generic animation type, then you won't actually have this issue. It'll actually be fine. You can keyframe generic animations fine. Um, it's only the humanoid ones that have issues. Uh, so I've had to find a workaround for this. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what I've done. I haven't run into any issues yet, but yeah, I guess um, it, it may not be the most standard way to do it. But what I've done is create a new rig controller and then attach a animator uh, to the rig layers and then attach a rig controller uh, basically inside as it's a child of the main character animator now. And what happens is if I open up this rig controller and let me just assign like this clip, for example. Um, okay, that's not a great one. Yeah, I can just delete all these keyframes actually. We'll just reauthor this. So inside the scene view, now if I select that inner animator um, and press record, the character doesn't go AWOL. It's actually, uh, it's actually fine and the main um, idle animation is still playing back. But I can, at the same time, I can record uh, and start keyframing some of these, these rig constraints, which is yeah, really, really cool. Okay, so I just need to clean up some stuff uh, really quickly. Uh, so inside the main animator, the third person shooter, I'm just going to delete this weapon layer because all of that will be moved into this rig controller here. Um, and then next thing is basically get rid of all the references uh, inside the scripts to anything to do with uh, layers. Um, also get rid of the animator override controller. Um, this, this animator here is going to become the rig controller, that new one, that new animator that we made. So don't uh, call get component and start. And we're gonna assign that in the inspector. Just get rid of this uh, if else block, get rid of all this hand IK, layer weight stuff, get rid of all this, and get rid of the save weapon pose. Um, whoops. So yeah, just like that. And inside the character aiming scripts, you can get rid of this aim layer. Uh, and get rid of this here, because we're basically gonna um, all they were doing was changing layer weight, so we can do all that stuff inside the uh, animation window now, which is pretty cool. Uh, and so what else do I need to do? Uh, delete this override controller um, and just make sure to reassign the main uh, third person shooter controller back to the character. Um, get rid of this empty animation and I think that is, that's it. Let me just double check what's in the rig controller. Okay, yeah, so this has just got the weapon and pistol thing cool so yeah in summary um, we've now got the main animator controller which is just handling our locomotion we've got the rig layers with the rig controller which is going to keyframe all of this stuff oh sorry we need to actually drag this weapon holder node underneath rig layers and that means that we can actually uh, modify the pivot and the left and the right hand positions inside uh, this rig controller uh, yeah which is going to be yeah exactly what we need
uh, there's just one more thing I forgot. Um, just on the active weapon script, uh, just make sure to assign this animator down here to the rig controller. Um, just yeah, make sure it is this animator rig controller and not the main one on the character. Cool, so just go into play mode now. So yeah, now you can see that the hand okay stuff, because we're no longer turning it off in scripts, uh, we need to use the uh, the new rig controller to do that. Um, so if you just select the rig controller and open it up in the animator, uh, we'll just create a new um, a new animation, which I'll call like weapon uh, unarmed. Maybe like character unarmed or something is a better better name, but whatevs. Um, so if you now go back to the scene view and select the rig layers, uh, we can now select the weapon unarmed clip. Uh, from the animation window and if you hit record uh, we can now just key off the uh, hand IK stuff which yeah it makes the character look correct um, so if I come out of play mode and go back in for a second time uh, the hand IK stuff is now it's now working correctly um, but if I walk over the weapon pickup we need to basically do the opposite now and key the hand IK stuff back on um, so there's a few ways to do this uh, one way would just be creating like a transition between these nodes here but instead of doing that i'm just going to use like a, a new trick i found in the or read in the forums um, so i just wanted to try that out so the idea is basically um, on the weapon each weapon is going to have a weapon name so we can replace the animation clip with a weapon name string and then inside the uh, active weapon scripts uh, when we equip a weapon we basically um, get the rig controller and then play a new animation state called like equip underscore and then we'll use the name of the weapon to basically generate the name for the animation state so for a pistol it'll be like equip underscore pistol for example um, so just need to set those weapon names on the prefabs here uh, so for the assault rifle I'll just call that rifle and then for the pistol, let's call it pistol. And now just need to uh, go back into the, uh, the rig controller here and rename this state from weapon and pistol to like equip underscore pistol. So there's, there's gonna be no transition here because this will happen automatically inside the active weapon script. Um, so if I just drag the animator window down here uh, and hit play, should be able to see yeah, okay, that's, that's good. Um, yeah, now the equip state gets entered, which is pretty cool. I think it's quite easy to manage rather than using override controllers, uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go with that. So now the um, the pistol animation clip basically needs to be reauthored because I deleted all those keyframes earlier. Um, so again, just select the uh, select the rig controller, go to the animation window, uh, select the weapon and pistol clip, hit record and now we can start moving the pivot positions uh, so I'll just zero out the rotation there and I'll just fix this up really quickly cool yeah something like that looks okay <clears throat> and now here comes the fun part uh, so we've got the single uh, single clip single keyframe for the, the weapon position and now I want to create an animation to holster the weapon so if I just move the keyframes uh, or to like 0 0.3 seconds or something and basically just create the end pose here um, this is so cool just using the, the rig constraints and the hands automatically update uh, so I'm just gonna do this like really rough because yeah I mean I don't really know how to animate but uh It'll look good enough for, for illustration purposes. Um, so something like that. Okay, so that's the end pose that I want. So there's a few things to fix up with it. Uh, the first one would be to actually key off the left hand IK. Uh, so the left hand is loose. And then for the right hand, um, I just need to move the hint node back because the elbow is in a funny position. Um, but now using this uh, the animator window, all this stuff is it's just so easy to do it's amazing love it and yeah so i mean now we can just see how that looks <laughs> it looks like just with two keyframes it looks amazing um so cool this this pose here looks a little bit weird so you can just like fix this up just add keyframes like in the middle of your animation where where you think it looks wrong like maybe probably 
or something like that. I don't know. And yeah, I mean, that's looking like pretty good already. So if we come out of play mode, come out of preview mode, um, yeah, if you notice when you make changes to the animation, sometimes it will just default back to the state. So you just need to uh, like walk back over the pickup. And yeah, the uh, player has now played that uh, holster animation. It's actually in the wrong direction though. So we just wanna set that to negative one. Cool, so the next step, is actually uh, we just need to create a so we've got this equip animation and we just want to create a new a new state um, and I'll call this like holster weapon uh, holster pistol so we basically can use that same animation clip uh, the animation pistol but play it in the, the right direction so this one plays in reverse this one plays forwards and then I'll create a transition in this case um, using a new parameter so just create a new like boolean parameter called like holster weapon and on the transition just get rid of all the exit time stuff just so the transition happens immediately well that's what I'm gonna do um, holster weapon set to true and then have another transition going the opposite direction set to false again get rid of all the exit time and now I just need to set this uh, boolean parameter in, in script um, so I'll do that again in the active weapon script. So if we open up this guy and basically, yeah, just inside update, um, gonna check if input.get key code. Uh, I mean, just pick whatever key code you like, but I think PUBG uses X, so I'll use X. And then, oh, first we wanna check if the, if it's holstered already. So get the rig controller dot get bull uh, holster weapon, and then basically yeah just flip it. So set bull holster weapon not is holstered. Cool. So if I go back into play mode and see if all this stuff works, I'll just set the um yeah so you can see what's happening here. Cool, so when we play the pickup, and if I push X, then it plays in the opposite direction. Ah, uh, there's something something wrong with this. Weapon holster, false, why is that not coming out? Ah, uh, I spelled it wrong. So just walk back over this. So yeah, press X. Amazing. So cool. Uh, the animation is actually pretty slow, so you can just fix this up. Like, don't even need to come out of play mode. Um, just go to the weapon animation pistol, select all those keyframes, and just shrink them down to like here. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Um, I still need to just fix up this right arm at the very end of the animation. Uh, so just hit record, move the cursor to the end. I'm just gonna create like uh, a new keyframe here, which will basically set the right hand IK off, um, but it needs to be on on this up until the very end. So yeah, just uh, create another keyframe at the very end, which sets the right hand IK to one and then sets it to zero on, on that part there. So, test that out again. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna repeat the same process uh, for the rifle animation. So just open up the rig controller and we just need to basically copy these, uh, these states here um, and rename them to use the string that was set on the, um, the pistol prefab, uh, sorry, the assault prefab here. Uh, so use this, the string. So rather than underscore pistol, it should be underscore rifle and then holster rifle and then just uh, assign the weapon oops weapon anim rifle uh, clip to the states like that and uh, now if we just hit play and walk over the assault pickup um, go to the animation window and select the weapon anim rifle clip 
Um, I deleted all the keyframes uh, just to start fresh. Uh, so go into the scene view and uh, just press record. Uh, and then now I can just start positioning everything. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. Okay, so that's the uh, basic weapon pose and now I just need to create like a holster animation. Um, so basically do the same thing as before, just uh, go to where you want the animation to end and then key in the final position for the animation and then we can basically fill in the gaps. Um, actually I might create some intermediate keyframes just so it rotates properly here. So if I just key this on, I'm just going to do this really quickly now. Cool, so now it's just time to uh, just test all this stuff out. If I walk over the assault rifle pickup, then it plays the assault animation. Um, I can also host, holster the assault rifle by pressing X. Uh, if I walk over the uh, pistol pickup, then it plays the pistol animation. And yeah, I can also holster the pistol by pressing X. Cool, so um, yeah, that's that's it for this tutorial. So. Um, yeah, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then uh, please like and subscribe. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, um, just share it with your friends, It'd be much appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching. Kakite.